This is the results that we had uh, put out uh, today. So while you can see that the growth for the fourth quarter itself, uh, for the last financial year, while the results of that look pretty good on the sales as well as profit, especially on the profit side, if you take the full year sales, uh, you know, it's, it's, we, it's, it's a somewhat modest uh, growth. So if you had followed the, the last uh, three quarters prior to the last quarter coming in, uh, you would see that in terms of sales, the main reason why uh, it looks modest for the full year, one is clearly the delay that happened in the launch of Fexo Sudo uh, higher strength product. Uh, it finally got launched in the fourth quarter uh, because there was a preliminary injunction which finally got lifted in the month of January and then we had a quarter where we could uh, you know, launch that product. So in terms of what we had planned through the year plus in terms of you know, what we expected, uh, that's been somewhat low. So if you take the overall year, that's, that's one of the reasons why you know, sales has been low. Another factor is also the custom pharmaceutical services business. Uh, this is an area of a business which uh, you know has been on the decline over uh, several quarters uh, that is also to do with the optimization which our customers for the business which is mainly innovators as well as uh, you know some of the emerging biotech uh, companies they were optimizing their expenses so you also saw a result of that fallout steadily coming through the quarters but in terms of the recovery which we anticipated uh, to come in that i think is taking a little more time uh, so that the, the traction that we indicated we should get i think it's it's slightly delayed so Broadly, I would say these two would be the main reasons besides, you know, some other things. That's, that's why the modest uh, growth sales that we have had. Also, if, we, if you see the spend base, uh, you know, it's not reflected in this particular thing, but probably in the press release you would see, in terms of uh, sales, SGNA spend, although it just shows as a 5% increase, uh, you would also recollect that we had restructured our uh, beta farm in terms of expenses. So the benefit of that should have actually reflected. Uh, but you won't see that because in terms of other ones which uh, where we have started uh, spending a bit more i mean i would say investing ahead of a uh, uh, little bit ahead of time before the sales clock in one is the india uh, field force which we had expanded uh, considerably so that's that's something you would actually see this year uh, the financial year 12 would show the benefit of uh, i mean the productivity of that particular investment would start showing and that's one the second thing is also the otc in russia uh, because we have taken a position when i discuss the russia slides i will actually talk about that uh, as far as Russia is concerned, uh, we are looking at OTC very strategically uh, because that is a big chunk of the market and some investment took place in that space in terms of uh, front ending. So that also added to the spend base, right? So these are the two things that uh, I've already talked about uh, Fexo Sudo. Also, that uh, this has gone, this franchise has been shifted to OTC by the innovator, which also gave us an opportunity to launch the Fexo Fending plain OTC. That's, that's another uh, development that has just taken place. Um, other thing is we had also acquired the Glaxo's uh, facility which was announced much earlier but the completion of that was uh, happened recently. This gives us an entry, uh, just to recap on what exactly this facility means to us, for the US business in the area of penicillin, uh, in, the, in that particular area, it gives us access to a manufacturing facility which we didn't have anywhere in the India to start with and also in our whole range of global manufacturing, we do not have access to that. It gives us entry into that particular space. In the front end, this also is a new range in terms of you know the therapeutic areas that we can actually enter into. That's the significance of this acquisition. We also announced a collaboration with a company called Valiant for a dermatology product called Cloderm, which goes into a division of ours called Promius Pharma. This is for the US. It, it is largely aimed at the dermatology uh, segment. So with this acquisition of this product, uh, we will now be marketing this this product so it gives a boost to the Promius Pharma business for the US.